21st century medicine based on ancient wisdom. It's turning into a booming business, and Deb has more on alternative medicine in tonight's Insight. Deb. Well, Chris, it does seem that everything old is new again when it comes to our health. An increasing number of Canadians have decided to try drug-free remedies and non-invasive medical procedures. And while alternative therapies may still be a niche market, it has grown rapidly over the past 10 years. Jennifer Palma reports. Edie Rittinger is enjoying an afternoon walk, something that may have been more of a challenge four years ago for her knee and joints, before she went down a naturopathic route. Oh, you know, NSAIDs, these non-steroidal medications which upset my stomach. I was given courses of cortisone. At one time I was told I needed surgery and none of that has come to pass. Thousands of Canadians are turning to natural health products, a sector that's exploding. According to a report commissioned by the Canadian Health Food Association in 2005, two and a half billion dollars was made in total retail sales. At Caresdale Pharmacy, they've seen a 10% growth every year for the past three years when it comes to natural remedies sales. They're, they're usually coming in saying they're fed up with, with um, stuff that they've tried, usually it's prescription stuff or um, alternative um, therapies including physiotherapy, massage therapy and everything like that and they just haven't been able to get any relief. Sierra still is one lower mainland company capitalizing on the increasing popularity of natural health products. Not only does Sierra still employ and package their product locally, last year the company grew by 300 percent selling its all-natural mineral complex product. The pharmaceutical approach is terrific when people are in a serious situation. But for a lot of people, what their bodies need is a nudge and not a slam, as it were. And so for the people who need that nudge and the, uh, their body needs a nudge, that's where the natural health products can make a huge difference for them. While the president of the BC Medical Association couldn't speak to us on camera, Dr. Brian Brody stated to us that many naturopathic therapies have yet to be proven. However, he has noticed more patients asking about natural therapies and if there are more natural means of improving health. The younger generation is also getting in step with turning to natural remedies when it comes to pain management and prevention. I'm biking to work regularly this summer and haven't felt any pain yet. So uh, it's working very well indeed. Some days it was difficult to button my coats. It just, you know, arthritic pain comes and goes. But sometimes my hands were fast asleep and I wore braces on my wrists. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> Our attitudes towards alternative therapies have come a long way and British Columbians are at the head of that pack. The latest stats from 2006 show that 16% of British Columbians have tried naturopathy. That is the highest in Canada. In the number two spot, Alberta at 9%. 20% of British Columbians say that they've tried herbal therapy, but Alberta was even higher than we were at 23%. And 10% of British Columbians have tried homeopathy. Quebecers, though, slightly more experimental at 12 percent and of course the popularity of all uh, as the popularity of alternative medicine grows so too does the amount of money spent on it Jennifer referred to the amount in Canada spent but a recent report found that North Americans spent an estimated 34 billion dollars on natural remedies Chris big that's business. tonight's insight it's a big, lot of money yeah big <laughs> business sure is thanks very much Deb appreciate it